Hey, my name is Ty, and here are some things that they don't tell you about being vegan. One of the things about being vegan, you know, after probably, whew, it's quick, maybe three to four days within changing your plant-based uh, diet or changing to a plant-based diet is the amount of energy that you get. And let me just, let me, let me just go back for a second and say, a lot of times, you know, if you talk to someone who's 100% plant-based or if they're vegan, if they're leading with, you know, it's not great for the environment, you know, save the animals. If they're leading with that, if you're not a person who's sympathetic to that, it's going to be tough for you to, to hear exactly what they're saying. And that's something that I've noticed. Um, but if you can just kind of depends on who you're speaking to as well. But someone like myself, if I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm vegan, right? I'm not necessarily going to lead with that, but that's a incredible benefit. The animals and the, the environment's awesome. But if you do make that switch, even like I said, I mean, you can do it for 30 days, but if you make the switch, I'm telling you within three days, four days, the amount of energy that you're gonna feel, you just like feel like a new person. And all you've done is made a simple dietary change. You're going from eating, you know, some beef and chicken, right? To all plant-based. Now that, that's including plant-based meat as well. So, that's something they don't tell you. Yeah, the, the, the energy level is just crazy. And when you try to explain that to people who aren't vegan, they don't really understand because you just feel like a new person. Um, as you get older as well, you know, you, you have parents and they're probably, you know, limping around the house, right? The aches and pains. That's another thing. There's something about the inflammation in the body uh, and it just increases, you know, with, with eating meat. It's just kind of unfortunate, right? But when you switch to plant-based, and this is something I noticed within a few months, you know, my elbows used to ache a little bit, I uh, have knee issues when I'm doing squats at the gym. All of a sudden, you know, like that pain is, is somewhat alleviated and you're just going with it and you're not really putting it all together. And then a few months later, I realized, wow, I mean, it has to be my diet because my workout's been the same. I haven't done too many different things except change my diet. So that, that's something they don't tell you. I mean, so if you have any sort of aches and, and you're going to have aches, I mean, it's just kind of what it is. It's part of the getting older process, but the plant-based uh, diet, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say specifically 100% plant-based um, is really gonna help you out. You know, another thing they don't tell you is if you're a gym goer, yeah, if you just drop the meat, you're going to lose weight, which means you're gonna lose some strength. And they don't tell you that. It's kind of like they only tell you the good things, right? Like. Oh yeah, you know, like I, like I said, your energy level is gonna be great, but you have to be careful because now, you know, a lot of people out there, they're not really, you know, hardcore gym goers, so they wanna lose weight anyway, and that's fine. But you're gonna also have an issue if you just stop eating your normal diet and then just start eating beans and rice, right? That's not the way that you wanna go about it. Like you wanna be somewhat strategic, but you don't wanna necessarily stress, your out, just stress yourself out about it. Um, and I did notice that. I mean, I just took out, I was eating ground turkey and, and beef. And I just took that out and I started eating some of uh, some of the just basically salads. And, you know, I tried like the beans and rice for a little bit, some of the plant based meats. And it did take me some time to get my strength back because um, it was really, really drastic. Right. And I think that's where a lot of people fail when they're looking to switch to the plant based uh, diet. You know, they might see something online and they might try it and they might give it like a week and then all of a sudden they're not feeling right. And the reason why is because they might be eating, you know, they're eating vegan, right? But not all vegan food is healthy. Just because it's not animal doesn't mean that it's healthy. And we have to, we have to, you know, understand that and keep that in mind. So, you know, you want to be somewhat strategic when you're making this switch over from plan B, even if it's 30 days, right? You, you kind of want to look at it. And I'm all about the healthy you know, eating plan, right? So my regimen is extremely healthy. So as I said, the vegan diet isn't necessarily healthy, but you can make it healthy. And I feel that within making it healthy, it is the healthiest diet on the planet. I mean, some people might say, oh, oh no, you know, carnivore diet is carnivore diet. You know, okay, that's funny because I'm, you know, I used to be one of the biggest carnivores you've ever met. And I still had blood issues, right? I still had some of my blood levels were off. So I know for a fact, that the plant-based diet, if done properly, is awesome, for sure. Uh, I would say another thing that they don't tell you about <laughs> when you switch over to plant-based. Now, I live in California, so I'm very fortunate about the options that we have. But if you decide, hey, I wanna go on this you know, plant-based challenge and you try to go out to eat, depending on what state you're in, 
you might not have great vegan options. And that's tough because you're going to sit there at the table. You're going to watch your friends. You know, they're just going to be eating and you're going to be hungry. And I think that's a place where people fail often as well, because they're not, again, you're not planning, right? And I don't want to stress you out with, you know, over, you know, over complicating it at all, but you do have to think. I mean, we have phones these days before we go out to eat, we can easily look at the menu. I mean, that's what I do. I'm always looking like, what options do they have? Now I'm a little bit more analytical about it. And if they don't have certain options, I just won't go. I'm not saying you have to be that way, but I'm just saying if you want to be successful at something, right? There's gonna you know, be some planning. You don't wanna just go into it and then just try to figure it out as you go along. No question, you're most likely gonna fail at that. So, you know, these are just some of the things that they don't tell you uh, about being plant-based. But, you know, once you get over some of those hurdles, there's no question. It's absolutely the most optimal diet on the planet. And here's the thing, here's the beauty of it. You don't even have to be 100% vegan. You don't have to be. You can just make minor changes, right? So for example, you know, I told you earlier that you know my, my blood work was a little bit off when I wasn't 100% plant-based. You can just make simple changes to your diet, right? So you can still eat meat if, if you feel like you can't live without it, but just cut it back a little bit, right? And just add some more plant-based options, some healthier plant-based options. And I'm telling you, you are gonna see a difference. Now, if you have a serious illness or let's say, you know, uh, diabetes or, or high blood pressure, at that point, you will need to be a little bit more severe about it. And I know if you're, if you're hearing my voice, if you don't have any blood issues or you don't have any high cholesterol or, or blood pressure, somebody in your family most definitely does. I know because we're all humans and we're definitely more alike than we are different. So there's no question about it. Plant-based diet is incredible. It's phenomenal. And, um, I'll make more videos about it, all right? So if you like this content, please share it with your friends and family, like this video, and I'll keep producing more for you.